Hello, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate you. In today's video, I want to share with you how I'm going to go about switching out the CNC Q2 cam from a 3.5 millimeter stroke to a 4. Should you have any questions at any point throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I will also leave links for you in the description below so you can check this gear out on your end. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring my bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. I do also have social medias under the same name as my YouTube channel at Daniel Yuck. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I would truly appreciate your support over there as well. If you enjoy my channel and find my content helpful, consider becoming a Patreon or sending over a super thanks as we would truly appreciate your support. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on into this. Where I'm going to begin is by disassembling the machine. So I need this part right here. So I'm going to start with removing this area and then I'm going to go on from there. So here we have the new updated CNC Q2. As you can see, it does have a plastic housing now where the first one, the motor was glued into the body. I've also done a new in-depth review on the updated Q2. Be sure to check that out. So what we're gonna wanna begin is, you see this circle right here? Well, that is what we're going to be working with. Right here, are the tools that we're going to be needing and this is available on the CNC website and again links will be for you in the description below. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can so that way you can see here. You can see that this camera here is a 4 mm right there. So we're going to be switching it out from this one to this one. This one is the stock 3.5. It's not listed on there but that's what this one is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to align this so that way I can place this key inside here to unscrew it and that's where we're going to begin. Like so, as you see, I didn't screw it to the point where this screw comes out. You can just screw it or just loosen it a little bit and then unscrew it so that way you don't have to worry about losing these. Maybe to right there is about good and then it should slide right off. So this is the stock one. Now we're going to place on the four millimeter stroke and the idea is I can have one Q2 for lining and another for shading. So I want one to be more punchier which is what this new updated four uh, stroke right here is for. I'm just going to repeat the process in reverse. I'm going to place it on, make sure that it's all the way down. And then from here, I'm just simply going to tighten it on. And I want to make sure that I do get a healthy tighten on there, not too tight and not too loose as we don't want this coming or rattling around on us or coming loose on us. So that seems about right right there. And as you can see, it's as easy as that. And now I have a four millimeter cam on here. So you can see that process is really easy. S swift should take you about five minutes or less. I'm doing this while demonstrating. So it should take around that length or that time right there. It shouldn't take too, too long. And now I have a punchier CNC Q2 right here. Here is the Q2, the updated CNC Q2 running with the 4mm stroke there. And that's the WX2 power supply. Smooth, clean, and consistent. There you have it. That is how I go about switching out my CNC Q2 cams. Keep in mind, this can also work for the CNC Q1. I believe most Q series tattoo machines, we can switch it out with the same process, if not a very similar process. There you have it though. That is how I go about switching out these cams. If you have any questions at all, I encourage you to drop a comment down below. I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I do also have social medias under the same name as my YouTube channel. I would truly appreciate the support over there as well. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring my bell as I'm going to be bringing more videos like this for you all. 
If you enjoy my channel and find my content helpful, consider becoming a patron or sending over a super thanks as we would truly appreciate your support. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you tuning in. You have a great day. Thank you.